I'm going to be teaching you how to sew this palazzo trouser or pants with a side pocket. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. So to sew this trouser, this palazzo trouser with pockets, you'll be needing two, two years of any material you want to use. So this is two years of the material I want to use. This is the back and this is the front. So I went ahead to fold the material into two to cut out the front face. So I'm just going to pin it, pin it to hold it so it won't move out. So the first step we are going to do, we are going to mark our starting line. This is where all measurements will start from. My trouser length is 43. That's what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to minus 2 inches for the band. That's what I'm doing. So where I'm marking my truck is going to be my starting line. After marking it, I'll just draw the the chalk. I'll just draw the line, I mean. So after drawing the line, the next step is going to be my hip line. So I'm still going to be maintaining that minus two inches for my band, my band allowance. I'm going to mark the length of the trouser. Sorry, my cam my camera was not videoing there. So after marking the length of my trouser, I went ahead to mark my hip line my hip line starting from the line where the chalk is where that two inches is i'm going to mark my hip line across and my hip line is nine inches so i'm just going to mark it and cross it so after marking my hip line the next step is to mark out your crotch line so my crotch line is 11 inches i used to come down by from my hip by three inches that's how i used to get my crotch line so i'm just going to mark a straight line after marking my crotch line the next step is to mark out your hip your knee line so from my waist to my knee is 19 inches so i'm going to mark 19 inches so after marking it i'll still draw the line across then we are done drawing lines so the next step now is to divide my hip my normal hip by four so i'm going to be using 42 divide by four i'm going to be getting um ten and a half so after getting ten and a half i'm going to add one and a half inch allowance because i want to sew this trouser with one inch so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to mark that I'm going to mark my measurements at the starting line so i'm marking 12 inches i'm going to maintain the 12 inches and mark it straight down to the hip and the crotch line so i'm just going to draw a line there so that's the line the next step is to divide your normal hip by four you divide your normal hip by four if it gives you 10 you divide it by four again so after dividing my hip by four i divided it by four i divided it by four again it gave me 2.5 so i'm going to mark 2.5 as where my crotch line is like outside outside the hip line so that's what i did there sorry that my camera was not showing everything so after marking it i'll come in here i'll go up by half inches just to get my curve these two make your trouser not to be bulging so it's okay that you maintain a very straight line when trying to create this your crotch line so after that i'm going to go to the top where the starting line is i'm going to mark my waist circumference and i added one inch for sewing allowance after that i'm going to connect from my waist to my hip i'm going to connect from my waist to my hip so i've got my hip curve that's what i'm just going to do so i'm just going to use my hand to come out by half inch and just and just minus two inches from my or minus two inches from my lap i had 15 inches there so i'm going to minus it so as my knee line i'm going to mark 13 inches yes because i don't want it to be that very big or very very free so that's what i did there so i'm going to maintain that line and i'm just going to mark the line straight down that's what i'm trying to do here i'm going to maintain the line i'm going to mark it straight down 
from my knee i'm just going to mark it straight down then after marking after getting my right measurement the next step is to cut out i'm going to cut out after marking it from my um crotch line to my knee so i'm just going to cut out So after cutting it out, the next step is to place my front on another piece to cut the back. So this back, you have to list it very well so you get it. Usually, I used to see like some trousers. When you want to mark your back, you come out by 2 inches on the cross side. But on my own method, I'm not going to be coming out by 2 inches on that cross line i've tried those method before it's not really giving my trouser the fit i want so that's why i'm doing this method so now i'm going to adjust this my front pattern to have allowance at both the front and the back of the um, back material so i'm just going to adjust it very well i want to make sure that there is space in between the front so i'm just going to measure what i have at my waist then I will minus 2 inches. Then I will mark it. Or minus 2 inches from my waist. I will mark it. So I will start from that 2 inches that I manual. And I will mark my waist measurement backward. So that is what I am trying to do here. I will mark my waist measurement backward. Then after doing that. I will go up by 2 inches. Again that is for the back. I will go up by 2 inches. Then I will just collect, connect a, a slant line to it. So I went up by 2 inches, then I connected a slant line to it. So that's for the upper side. So after marking the upper side, the next step, I'm going to maintain that 2 inches that I came out by. So I'm going to mark 2 inches at my hip line again. I'm just going to maintain that 2 inches from my waist to my hip. That's at the back. Then the next step is that when I reach the knee line, I'm going to reduce it to 1 inches. So from my waist to my hip is 2 inches I came out by. That's at the back. Then when I reach the knee line, I came. Uh, I reduced it by 1 inches. So I started marking 1 inch straight down. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mark 1 inch straight down. So after marking it, I'm going to go up. Then I'll maintain that 2 inches that I came in by. So I'm just trying to create a line at the back. I'm just trying to create a line. That's why I'm taking the front up. So I'm just trying to maintain the line. Then I'll go out and mark my crotch line at the back. Sorry that my camera was not showing everything. So, but what I did there, I'm just trying to maintain that line. Uh -huh. I'm just trying to maintain the line then I'll create a curve there I'm trying to maintain the line so I'll get my back crotch so that's what I'm trying to do here I maintain the, the line I came out by at the back then I'll just make a curve there so after making that curve there you are going to go out by 2 inches at the crotch you are going to go out by 2 inches you're going to go out by two inch and mark it there after marking two inch you connect it slightly to your knee line you're going to connect it to your knee line so after doing that you are done for both the back and the front the cutting and of the back and the front you are done so you're just going to cut it out so after cutting it out i already have my front and back piece the next step is just to label it so i'll know which is the front and which is the back so the next step after labeling it is to mark my pockets so for the pockets we are going to concentrate on the front so what we are going to do we are going to keep the back piece aside then i'll bring the front piece so we want to cut out the pockets so i'm coming to the hip side not the crotch side i'm coming to the hip side please watch what i'm doing i'm coming to the hip side 
then at the waist side i'm going to come out by two inch then from my waist i'm going to mark eight inches down then i'm just going to connect a slant line so this is how to get your pocket you are just going to cut it first from your main fabric then i'm just going to cut it out so after cutting it out i went ahead to cut out two peaks on food so the length of the piece is 11 inches then the width the wideness is nine inches so i'm going to bring the front side facing the front side to cut out the pockets to cut out the pockets that i just the pocket line that i just cut out on the fabric so i'm just i'm going to bring one piece of the pocket and one piece of my front trouser so i'm just going to place it on top like this watch what i'm doing please i'm just going to place it on top i'm just going to adjust it very well place it then i'll cut it out i'm going to repeat this process on the both side of the of the front trouser i'm going to repeat it after cutting it after doing this i'll just pin it i'll just pin it then i'll cut out for the other side too So after cutting it, the next step is to just pin it. Then you take it to your machine to sew just that side that I cut out. This side, I'm just going to sew it by half inch. So after sewing it in my machine, this is what it looks like. So the next step is to flip it. I'm going to flip it, then I will pin it. Please watch what I'm doing. I'm going to flip it, flip it like this. You flip it inward inward of your front piece you're going to flip it like this that side i just sew that is um that i sew with half inch you can double stitch on it if you want to i later double stitch my after sewing it so i'm just going to pin it like this look at i'm just going to pin it or make sure that everything is well aligned so i'm just going to pin it so i'm going to take it to the machine i'm going to sew the upper side yeah i'm going to sew the upper side yeah then i'll turn back to i'm going to sew the upper side but before then i'm going to come out by two inches that we came out before when cutting this trouser so i'm going to maintain that our allowance so it will not short our measurements when trying to um in trying to shape it so i came out by that two inches that we took out initial so what i'm going to do i'm going to take it to the machine i'm going to sew here yeah. i'm going to raise it up and sew then i will repeat the same thing at the upper side then i'll i'll turn it and stitch stitch both the fabric and the pocket together so this is what i did this is what i did so i just stitch it like i said earlier so i repeat the same process on the both side of the trouser you can see that our pocket is almost ready so this is how it looks like so the next step is to take both the, the two pieces of the front and the two pieces of the back you are going to pin it then you sew the crotch by half inches i'm just going to adjust my i'm going to pin it then you take it to the machine and sew with half inches you are going to repeat the same process for the back and the front you're only going to sew it with half inches remember the allowance that i kept when when cutting so that's what i'm going to use i'm going to come out by half inches and sew it So after sewing it, this is what it looks like. So the next step is to take out the um, taking the two crotch. You are going to take the two crotch and sew it together. 
you're going to use your pin to make sure it's aligned very well so i'm going to take out both the front and the back piece i'm going to make both the the front and the back crotch to face each other so i'm just i'm just trying to adjust it here we are just going to pin it together then you take it to your machine and sew our pocket is almost ready our trouser i mean is almost ready so that's what i'm going to do watch what i'm doing so i'm um, looking at where my stitching starts from i'm just going to pin it together i'm going i'm going to pin it together i'll secure it with my pin then i'll take it to the machine and sew straight down So after sewing in, this is what I have. I'm just going to cut out any excess thread. Remember, when sewing, always cut out excess thread so that your work will not be rough. So the next step is just to shape in the trouser from the side with one inch. So I'm just going to adjust it very well. Then I'll pin it and sew it in and sew it with one inch. I'm going to sew it with one inch on both sides um, my left and my right i'm going to sew it with one inch So after sewing it, this is what I have. This is what I have. So the next step is to fix my van. My zip is going to be at the back. I don't have my zip here, so I'm going to do that later. So I'm just trying to adjust it. So at the back side, I'm going to open it because that's where my zip is start from. I'm going to come down by on minus my two inches i'll come down by eight inches that's where my zip will stop from so i'm just going to open it i'm just going to open where my zip will lap then after that i'll try and fix my band so after losing it i went to head and cut out my band so i cut out a band of two inches remember our band that we took out before it was two inches i went ahead to cut out two inches so what i'm going to do i'm just going to fix it around then i will sew the bottom of the trouser so our trouser is ready this is what it looks like you need to remain to fix is our zip at the back Thank you for watching this far. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. A like, comment. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you. If you are not seeing this video for the first time, thank you. And don't forget to subscribe.